Has WhatsApp changed privacy policy? Is Facebook stealing my data via WhatsApp? What? I have to uninstall WhatsApp. What I'll be using then? Can someone please answer me? Ever since WhatsApp has revised its privacy policy, it has sparked concern giving the data sharing with Facebook and its partnered companies. The introduction of this new privacy policy has made WhatsApp users absolutely unhappy. So let me give you a quick explanation what this privacy policy means. In case you agree with the WhatsApp's new policy, you will be giving access to some of your important information to Facebook via WhatsApp. But now the question comes, what kind of information does this include? Well, you will be sharing your phone's battery levels, your signal strength, your browsing informations and mobile operator data such as mobile phone number, your mobile network, your transaction details and your IP address as well. That sounds scary. So that is why after this major policy change, WhatsApp users are now looking for alternatives now. And there are two alternatives we have been hearing from past few days. These are called Telegram and Signal. You must have heard these two names a lot in past few days. But should you really switch to Telegram or Signal and uninstall WhatsApp? Watch this video until the end to find out what should you exactly do. So hi everyone, I'm your new friend Gunjal at Mr. Phone and today I'll be giving you all the answers and all the important details about Telegram and Signal which you must know before installing these apps. So let's begin today's video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, Please do subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any of our amazing tech videos. So let's begin. Starting up our comparison between Telegram, Signal and WhatsApp with a very important parameter that's security. Up until now, end-to-end -end encryption has been a staple thing on WhatsApp, which obviously means all your voice messages, your voice calls, your videos, your photos, everything is end-to-end -end encrypted and it's absolutely safe with WhatsApp. But that's going to change now soon. Coming on to Telegram. Let me be honest here and tell you that Telegram does not offer end-to-end -end encryption. The only way you can avail end-to-end -end encryption on Telegram is by using a special feature here that is called secret chat feature. If you want to know more about this feature, keep watching this video as I will be disclosing more about this feature soon. And when it comes to Signal, it has by far the best security feature, be it at the backend or the user side of the service. Signal follows open source Signal protocol which implements end-to-end -end encryption, which obviously means no other third-party app or even Signal can read any of your messages. So I would say in short, when it comes to security, Signal sounds way more sorted than Telegram and WhatsApp. Moving on to another parameter. Coming on to another important aspect, which is groups. You all must be aware of this, that WhatsApp allows you to add 256 members in a group. On the other hand, Telegram allows you to add at least 2 lakh members in a group. Whoa, that's a big number. Coming on to Signal, Signal allows you to add only 150 members in a group. So I would say in the group feature, Telegram takes maximum number and uh, adding 2 lakh members in a group is obviously an amazing feature. And when it comes to audio and video calls, three of these apps supports this feature perfectly. And now moving from groups to the file sharing feature, which is another important feature of this. So guys, you all must be aware of this thing that WhatsApp allows you to share files up to 100 MBs in size. And same is the case with Signal. But when it comes to Telegram, you would be happy to know that Telegram allows you to share files up to 1.5 GBs in size. Yes, believe it or not, but it's absolutely true. When it comes to file sharing, Telegram allows you to send files in a compressed or an uncompressed versions. That's totally up to you which way you want to send it to your friends or family. 
So I guess when we talk about the file sharing among three of the apps, Telegram takes the lead and it offers amazing features. Here comes the forward feature on our list, which is WhatsApp status. You all must be aware of this. So on WhatsApp, you can add images or videos as your WhatsApp status that can be seen by your family or friends easily. But this feature is not supported on Telegram or Signal. But given the fact that these apps are getting so popular, you never know in the future you might get this feature soon on these apps. So keep your fingers crossed for it. Coming on our comparison list next up is contact sharing. So basically what happens on WhatsApp is if you want to find someone on WhatsApp, you have to have their contact number. And uh, if you want to directly message them, you have to first save their contact number. Then only you will be able to send them messages or share any files, which itself is a tedious process. So on Telegram, if you want to find someone, you just have to have their user ID which means even if you don't have their phone number, you can message them with their user ID. This also means in case if you don't want to give your contact number to someone, you can give them your user ID and you can message them and you can share files or whatever you want to do. So Telegram's this feature sounds super cool to me. Anyways, moving on to another aspect of our list is data collector. When it comes to data collection, Signal is the app which acts minimal and coolest. It only stores your phone number and your contact details. Moving on to Telegram, Telegram also more or less behaves the same way. Telegram stores your contact details, your phone number and your user ID only. But when it comes to WhatsApp, it asks you for a lot of information such as your device ID, user ID, phone number, email address contacts, payment info, etc. So when it comes to data collection, according to me, Signal works the best. Remember I told you about a secret chat option of Telegram? It's time to disclose it now. Telegram offers a secret chat option where uh, one person can create a chat where messages cannot be forwarded. It also gives you a self-destructing message option where you can set a specific period of time and after that messages will be disappeared from both the sides. And with Signal, though you don't have the secret chat option, but you can still turn on the disappearing messages option in which you can set a specific period of time duration and after which messages will be disappeared. But till that time messages can be forwarded. Next up on our list is we have edit sent messages. You all must be aware of this thing that in WhatsApp, you cannot edit the messages you have already sent. But Telegram allows you to edit your messages you have sent already. But when it comes to Signal, Signal does not have this feature currently. This feature is an absolute blessing for those who makes a lot of mistakes and typos while sending messages. And here comes the last aspect on our list is lock your chats. Telegram allows you to lock your chat by doing some changes in your settings. You can easily lock or unlock your chats by just tapping on the lock icon. But when it comes to WhatsApp or Signal, none of these apps have this amazing feature. So guys, this was all I wanted to tell you about WhatsApp alternative apps, which is uh, Telegram and Signal. So now it's your time to make a choice. Would you like to stick to WhatsApp or you would like to switch to Telegram or Signal? Do let us know in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and share it with your family and friends as well. I will be coming back with another dose of tech content. Till then you stay tuned to Mr. Phone and keep watching our awesome tech videos.